Uh, I'm just going to read uh, a few verses out of Psalm 128, and then I'm going to quit. Uh, Psalm 128. So, uh, thank you, uh, Phil and Sharon and Paul and those that uh, put this thing together. It's really good. Psalm 128, how blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you shall eat of the fruit of your hands, you will be happy, and it will be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children like olive plants around your table. For behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. I, I like to tease Clara once in a while about it her being my crucial mind in the, midst, in the midst of the house. <laughs> and uh, the children like olive plants around your table. But I was thinking about this the other day. Your children like olive plants around your table. And to be around the table is almost a forgotten thing in America. One of my most sacred, wonderful memories from childhood is sitting around the table. We did it at supper time. And uh, my father would sit at the end of the table and take out the scripture and read the Bible and pray. And everyone was at the supper table and it was a time of human fellowship and a time of divine fellowship. Uh, being around the table. If everybody comes home, they got a drumstick from Kentucky Fried Chicken in their mouth and chewing on that and getting ready for the next event. And we have so little family time. And we should fight for it, like it says in Nehemiah. We should fight for the moments of togetherness with our family and enjoy them. Roy's brother, Hugo, who was a missionary in China for many years, uh, was going to come home and he wrote to Roy and he said, we'll just sit and sit and sit and talk and talk and talk. And he said, when we get through talking, we'll just sit there and look at one another for a while. <laughs> Your children like olive plants around your table. The table is a symbol of fellowship <coughs> and family times and memories and fun yeah. and the presence of the Lord. Then he says, the Lord bless you from Zion and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon <coughs> One of the memories from our home is uh, the first Christmas that Jim was away. And he'd gone to California to be a youth pastor. And uh, we all sat down at Christmas Eve and, and uh, we were happy. It was Christmas time. But we were a little sad too because there was one place missing. And that's just life. So uh, we had just, uh, Jim had told us he wouldn't be able to make it. And uh, we sat down. And said the prayer, I think we just said the prayer and just started eating when we heard a knock at the door. And here was Jim, half dead. I think he drank 30 soda pops on his way from California to Texas to stay awake because he wanted to be at the table. He wanted to be with the family. And so I, I, I just would like to express appreciation to... Uh, Mom and Dad Ribbons, for giving us all such wonderful memories. Family times, times with the Lord, unforgettable. And it's real. That's the core of the whole thing. It's not fake. It's not just service. It's just not masks. It's real. And uh, God bless you all. And let's remember the great and awesome Lord and fight for our family. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, thank you for the song. We thank you for the really wonderful times of fellowship that we've had together. Pray for all of the new additions to the family through marriage and, and the, the new generations that are coming and that are here with us even today. May every single person feel welcome and part of this great witness plan. 
And we pray that each one of us, Lord, will fight for time to be with you on a daily basis and fight for time to be with our precious families. Yes. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very strong. Amen. You may have wondered why we have two services today. But I think it's important for us to meet together in the whole atmosphere of family and exalt the Lord. Give praise to Him. <coughs> the grace of the Lord, without the mercy of God, none of us would be.